everybody, Dr. Leo Browitz, Healthy Feet Podiatry. I've got another ingrown nail patient who has double ingrown nails, both big toes, one side of each toe. Um, she told me that her nails look really good and she really wanted her toenails and her toes on film. So we decided to film it, right? You like your toes the way they look, right? I guess she got a recent pedicure and she's very excited about the pedicure. She loves the pink and to match that pink, we're gonna use pink Coflex to wrap her toes. And I'm gonna wrap this toe to get the blood out here and exsanguinate it. And we're gonna do both. The good thing is, we'll do this at the same time so we don't have to pick it up. It doesn't matter, when you put a tourniquet on a toe, it doesn't matter if it's on there for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, but once you get past an hour and a half, we like to let the blood come back because that's when you can start causing damage. The good thing is this procedure doesn't take an hour and a half, so we're not gonna leave it on that long. That's why we can wrap both toes, but I'm not that ambidextrous that I can do both at the same time, so we're gonna do one toe at a time. Which one do we start with? Me? Meanie, miny, mo. Let's see this one right here. Oh, this one. This one. Okay. So the patient wants us to do this one first. So let's open this up, and then we'll test you to make sure you're numb too. I numbed her up, but when we were putting the baited iron on her, um, she said that it may not be totally numb, and we're gonna find out right now. Um, and the way we judge that is how loud the patient screams. If she screams really loud, then we know that it's not numb. If she screams sort of loud, then we know that it's kind of numb. So we're gonna test her right now, and it's this side right here that we're doing. Um, she told us this side does not hurt her. You can see, by the way, see that little hump there? Don't know if she bumped the toe or that was um, from a pedicure. Did the pedicurist ever cut? Oh, she did. That's what it looks like. It looks like you got cut by a pedicure, yep. You can talk, you can say whatever you want. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Oh, she speaks, okay. Um, but that's what it looks like. It looks like you got cut by whoever did the pedicure right here, and then it healed in, and I'm sure on close up, you can really see it. So that's why you gotta be real careful when you get these pedicures, because it really is easy to be cut. I went with my daughter one time, and she got cut, and I'm sorry, and I got cut, so did she. Um, and I know this person was being careful because they knew that I was a podiatrist. They still cut me, so you gotta be careful. Okay, let's look at this again. We're gonna test you here. This is the scream test. Any pain? No scream. No? Any pain? No. No. Okay, cool. But this side never hurts you, right? Nope. Okay, cool. Let's do it. So we're under the nail here. We loosened it up. Now we're gonna take it out. And I like to do one at a time instead of going back and forth and you don't have to keep track of what you did on these. Actually, let's go under the edge here. Now she was concerned with the look of this too. So we're gonna try to slide this slowly. I'm gonna have to clip a little first to get it more under. Otherwise, if I slide it, even though I loosened it, it still can loosen the entire nail afterwards. And then when the toenail drains, the drainage will get under that nail a little bit and it lifts the nail so it's kind of mangly for a good six months while it's healing. See, that's perfect right there. It's just enough to get the ingrown out. And now we can clamp onto it and pull it out of there. So I'm gonna follow my path here. And again, no screams, so that's good. I'm right on top of the entire piece of nail. So you can see this one's a smaller piece than a lot of times than we normally take. Um, but you're gonna see, let's find out what's in here. So we're gonna turn this. And as we turn, we're gonna pull. I've got a nice good clamp on here. So we're gonna pull that up. There it is right there. That's the part that's really getting here. Now, she had a pedicure and I think the pedicure person tried cutting this out, right? Because I can see, see how it widens at the bottom. That's the part that was growing in. Take a good look. See how impressed I am? Look at, look at the look on my face. That's an impressed look, see? That means <laughs> wow. Okay, um, so it's in there pretty good. So let's clean this out now. And see, there is a little piece of skin here that we're gonna pull out. And people ask why we grab it. The reason we grab it is because the leading edge will actually come right off of there. If I grab it with the hemoset and you can see, it just follows the line. It's already demarcated for me. See how perfect that is? Comes right out, nice and clean. That looks almost as big as the nail. Again, a very crazy look on my face because this is a crazy piece of skin. Okay, I'm not that. It's not that funny, actually. <laughs> no one's laughing. 
Okay, that's why I didn't do those. But yeah, did you see that? That's a big chunk of skin from the. Now that's I know why it hurts. chronic ingrown nail will cause you to get like a callus on the side of the toe. That's what that is. This is the chemical, so it won't grow back. And we do about 10 seconds, three steps. There's number one. And we're going to do number two here. And 10 seconds is not an exact number. And you can see how some of that chemical kind of went down the. It gets on the top of the toenail. It doesn't matter. It's really once it's on there, we're rubbing it into the, the cells itself. The the nail plate itself is actually protective against the chemicals. So if something gets on there, it's not going to hurt the nail plate at all, but it will hurt the cells. It's definitely called to the nail cells. So we got one more to go here. Oh, let's see a little more drip. And we're going to get that off. We're going to flush it anyway. And this is looking really good. And I'm sure you're getting a great picture up there, right? Oh, Michelle? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. Yes. Can you see it? Oh, are you able to yes. see it from there? Very it's pretty impressive. cool when you get a close up. Yeah, it's like you get like a magnifying view of it. Oh, nice. Or a magnified view. Like, like, yeah. Damn, like, no, oh, yeah. it's like a sand spurt. Definitely impressive when you see that. So now we're going to put some beta diamond in there. That one's done. We're going to pick up the pace a little bit here. Apparently, there's a lot of people waiting, and they're not entertained by the fact that we're filming, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Unless we film them, then maybe they will be entertained, but um, we're gonna pick it up here and get this off. That's it, looks good. And you can see there's very little bleed in there, which is very cool. Now we're gonna do the other side. We're gonna watch it and see as time goes how much bleeding she actually gets. I'm gonna cut this back. And it's the same side of the other nail, so we're going to do the same procedure, ready for the scream test, and any screaming, does that hurt? Nope. Okay, good. So what you felt before was just the pressure. And a lot of times people think that they're not numb after we numb them up, and actually what they're feeling is just the pressure. So not, you don't go so numb that, um, that you can't um, feel pressure. You only lose, the first sensation you lose is like vibratory sensation and sharp and dull. But your proprioceptive sensation sometimes is still there, which is feeling where your toe is in space and actually feeling pressure sensations. And that's what they feel and they think that they're feeling pain. So I've got a hold of this nail. Kind of did that quick. And we're going to twist. Ooh, and there it is right there. See the bottom part, how it flares? I'm going to put this right here. It flares out. So not as impressive as the last one, but it's definitely a big piece of nail. We're gonna see what's left in the side here because this is a little bit swollen here. And I wanna see if there's anything hiding and it doesn't look like it at this point, but it is swollen from chronic um, pressure from that nail. But I do not see anything here. So you can see how puffy it is right here. And I think also, I'm guessing the pedicure person was digging in their cuticle. Okay, because that's what it looks like. It looks like you're swollen there from somebody trying to do something to it. Okay, so we're going to put the chemical there. And this is the fun part. And you can see really the, the, the amount of nail that I took out is really about the size of this small cotton tip applicator, which is pretty good. Once I do this, again, with a chemical burn, you can actually see really well inside of it. Look, take a look. You can see down into the groove. You can see? Can you see them up there? Mm -hmm. And you can actually see what it looks like where your nail was. When this heals, I know you were concerned cosmetically, this is gonna look great. This is gonna move over like that. You won't even be able to tell. It'll be really difficult to, to tell if you, if, um, you know, that someone took a piece of nail out of there permanently, so it'll look good. Then you can paint this one pink too. You can have 10 pink nails instead of eight. So this little piggy that goes to the market can have pink toenail polish on it. Yeah, the other one had more skin. Was that because of maybe the pedicures? Um, it could be, yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, I think your right one was more chronic. Do you remember when you when you came in last week? Did you tell me that one was more painful than the other? This one's more painful. Oh, interesting. Okay, because I would have thought it would be the other one. The other one was more chronic looking. Yeah. It's chronic looking because you have that callus on the side. Right. And that's how we know. Okay, this is nice and cauterized and. It looks like we've killed the matrix there, so now we're going to flush it. Very cool. And we're going to put some, this one here, we're going to put some baby on it. 
just like the other one. And then I'm gonna have you kind of zoom out, Michelle, and look and see this one here. Look and see how it's not even really bleeding. And that's because we have epinephrine in the shot. And um, we also had um, the uh, chemical, which cauterizes it and it keeps it from bleeding afterwards. So let's go ahead and put this dressing on here. Let's wrap it up. And I'll show you how we wrap this. I like to put um, just the gauze with, we don't have to do overkill, with um, a little bit of Coflex on here. It's a little more comfortable afterwards because sometimes it'll throb a little bit and you're gonna put ice on it if it throbs. You can take, I know you said you've got pain pills at home. You don't really have to, but if it's really painful, you can take pain pills. I doubt it will be, but that's up to you. Um, you're the one that determines how much pain you're gonna have and how bad it is for you. So if you have to take a pain pill, take a pain pill. Otherwise, really all you need is Tylenol, Advil, or leave. And I'm, I think I'm just gonna make it with this Coflex here. Let's see what we have. Normal activity after three or four days. You can do whatever you want. You can actually do anything you want tomorrow. Um, just make sure you keep it clean. So if it gets dirty, just clean it. And that's it. I have your instructions up front. Okay. <laughs> and wow, you know what? This is really cool. Now she has two pink big toes to match the other eight. So <laughs> cool. Impressed again. Wow. <laughs> and that's the end of the video. So if you like what you see, subscribe to our channel. We'll always have more really cool videos. Um, maybe something different. Maybe something new will pop out of the foot. Someone will come in with some crazy foot condition that we haven't seen in a while. We'll have a really cool video for you soon. I think we do have one in the works right now. You will find out. Keep watching the channel. Thanks.